Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nice Shape you're new here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing my Ipsy Glam Bag X unboxing. So if you don't know, Ipsy is another makeup and beauty subscription service, and this is the first month that they are debuting their Glam Bag X. It's sort of on par with the Boxy Lux from BoxyCharm. So every three months, you're gonna upgrade from, from your Glam Bag Plus to the Glam Bag X, and this costs $50 every three months. In this box, you're expected to have a value of, I believe, over $250, and there's seven to eight full-size items in the box. If you're interested in signing up for Ipsy or the Ipsy Glam Bag X, I'll leave a link down below and you can check it out. Also, if you're interested in this look that I'm wearing, it is a look with the Huda Beauty Pastel Obsessions Lilac. As you can see, it's a whole lilac lavender vibe we have going here. I use this palette. I got this palette in my premium boxy lux that unboxing is already up if you're interested in seeing it i'll link it in the cards or down below just a quick disclaimer i struggled with that palette struggled but my review and the tutorial is up on my instagram if you want to check it out and hear more of my opinion on the on that palette my instagram is always linked down below again follow me so of course if you enjoy unboxings please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you're interested in seeing what i got in my february debut ipsy glam bag x please keep on watching okay so this month for the glam bag x we got not just a card because normally ipsy doesn't send a card with the products and their description and their prices they sent a whole magazine a whole magazine it's from zero to 100 with them so essentially what the glam bag x is is it is a box that's curated by you know someone who is a makeup artist or a celebrity and this box was curated by patrick ta he's a celebrity makeup artist see him right there so what they also have in this magazine is they have all the products that could have been in your Glam Bag X. I believe I chose three products and then they sent the other five. I can't remember, but I believe so. But, you know, I'm just happy that I have the information in front of me and I don't have to go look it online for it. Like I always do. Okay, so first thing in the box is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara in black i've never tried this mascara before a lot of people have been raving about it uh online a lot of influencers so i believe it's in black it doesn't say on the packaging so i believe it's in black but you know happy to try out this mascara i have a bunch of uh pat mcgrath products and i also have a full face of pat mcgrath i did my valentine's day look if you haven't seen it yet i'll link up in the cards and down below for you to check it out full face of luxury high-end pat mcgrath makeup this cult favorite mascara from world-renowned makeup artist pat mcgrath has a flexible buildable formula that allows you to go from soft and fluttery to bold and thick making it the ultimate pro artist secret for customizable lashes with zero clumps or fakes we shall see about that and the pat mcgrath labs fetishize mascara is 30 dollars like I said, Pat McGrath is up there. It is a high-end brand. So $30 on mascara is expected. Next thing in the box is the About Face Matte Painted Lip Color. This is a new brand by Halsley, the singer. And this is the color. Again, you see the vibes. And this color is called Cautionary Tail. The beautiful purple. Nice and deep very beautiful color i love the packaging the rounded edges the soft matte touch very nice halsley patrick is famous for creating super saturated lips so he had to include this matte liquid lipstick from about face a new brand for everyone ever curated by halsey it's ultra pigmented and long lasting yet totally lightweight and the about face painted matte lip color is 22 dollars not bad pretty typical for a 
up there celebrity brand uh, lipstick. I kind of glopped on a lot here, but I'll leave it on so we can see what it looks like when it dries down. Next thing in the box is from Complex Culture. We do see Complex Culture in uh, Ipsy a lot. I believe it's a brand that's probably owned by them. And this is the Sonic T Bar Facial Massager. And this is what it looks like. I've actually seen uh, tools like this before, but I've never actually used it. And you know, I know these things are good to massage the face and help drain the lymphatic nodes as they say and help lift the face i've seen so many traumatic uh videos of people doing like the facial massage either with a tool or without and you can see a dramatic like lift on one side of their face as opposed to the other so i definitely do believe that it works i have the ice roller i believe i got it from ipsy uh what's that brand oh the kish ice roller and it's nice and fat and i put it under my eyes like in the morning when my eyes are like super baggy when you know i didn't sleep the night before happened a lot and i just go under there with that nice ice cold and i feel like it just really contracts my under eyes my under eyes are looking great today because shape tape the goat has my eyes like has my under eyes looking like this can't touch it but yeah, anyway, back to this. I've never used this particular style of massage bar. So I'm excited to try it out. I might have to watch a couple of videos to figure out how to use it. But again, it's metal. It's cold. Nice to fit right up under here, right under the eye. So I'll do some more research, but it's pretty interesting. The glowing skin and sculpted features Patrick creates on his clients, it starts with the right prep. Scientifically, a smoothing and sculpting face massage using this sonic power tool just glide it over your skin to help reduce puffiness, relieve tension, and sculpt your features. And the Complex Culture Sonic Tea Facial Massager is $58. Damn, that's expensive. And these tools tend to be expensive. There's the other one with like the balls on it that Madonna has that's like $200. Damn. And the next thing that was curated by Patrick is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. So the, like I mentioned before, the eyeshadow that I'm wearing is from Huda Beauty. And I've tried a lot of her eyeshadows before. A lot of the Obsessions one, I have the Ruby, I had the Topaz, I had another one. I have the Mall of Obsessions. And they're not bad, they're pretty nice. This Lilac one is a different story, but you know, we'll talk about it another time. And this rose gold one, the original rose gold palette, uh, she launched $65. It sold out over and over and over again. It was like a number one palette. People were obsessed with it. And then she decided to remaster it, come out with the exact same palette, but improving the formulas. So first of all, this little thing here is gorgeous. Not just like a regular plastic thing, but again, it's a $65 palette, so it better be high end. And this is her in that picture. She actually looks like Amrezy here. So funny. So this is the palette. It's a beautiful rosy half matte, half shimmers. Uh, she says that her shimmers has like a ton of pearl in them. That's why they're so shimmery. And you know, it's a beautiful palette. It gives, it's giving me modern renaissance vibes. Um, I had that palette, loved it, decluttered it already. But it's a really nice, I feel like every day, everyone would love type of palette. So I understand why it was such a cult favorite. I've never tried the formulas in here. I've never tried the formulas in the old one. So excited to try this one out. I'll definitely do a look with this. It will be on my Instagram. If you're seeing this, it's already up there. But yeah, excited to finally get my hands on a full size Huda Beauty palette and not just the minis that I've been using for the longest. And actually pretty soon I'm gonna be doing a full face of Huda Beauty makeup. If you saw my Black Friday haul, I got a bunch of collection products from her and I had some from before. So I believe I have enough to do a full face. So we'll be doing a full face of Huda Beauty, Muted. Huda Beauty makeup really, really soon. With 18 trendy shades in four different finishes, this ultra versatile collection of buttery shadows can be used to create pro quality looks that are soft and romantic or bold and glam. And like I said before, the Huda Beauty Rose Cold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette is $65. Pricey, but you know, at least they glammed it up a bit and made it seem like it's worth the 65. And like I said before, that kept selling out. So I guess a lot of people 
agree that it's worth $65. Okay, next thing in the box, actually, finally, from Patrick Ta, is the Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. So there was a choice between, and this is in the color She's Seductive. So there was a choice between the blush and the brow wax. I actually really wanted a brow wax, but I think I wanted the blush even more. So I went with the blush and hopefully the brow wax will be available another time. So this is the packaging, beautiful rose gold, which seems to be his aesthetic. And then this is the color of the blush. As you can see, is a nice everyday mauve nudey blush that's just gonna look perfect on my skin tone has a little bit of shimmer to it it's not completely matte has a little bit of a sheen to it and i love me a sheeny uh cheek so i'm really excited to try this out and see how it looks how it applies on my skin tone flush fresh lit from within skin is patrick ta's signature Get the look in real life with a few sweeps of this blush across your cheeks and lids. Doubles as an eyeshadow. The pigments are infused with light reflecting mica for a luminous glow. Love to hear it. And the Patrick Top Beauty Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush is $32. Yep, his uh, brand is in Sephora. It's pretty up there. $32 for a blush is expensive. Seems to be a lot of product in the package as well as the packaging is gorgeous. So totally understand why it's $32. Next thing in the box was also another choice and this is the Item Beauty One Hit Prime Set and Refresh Dewy Finish Face Mist. And again, this Item Beauty is by Addison Rae. She's a famous TikToker and I liked the things that I've had for I have have from her so far. I have a concealer that's too dark for me. I use it as a foundation and I have a bronzer which I was actually present pleasantly surprised how deep it was and how beautiful it looks on the skin so i figured why not try out the setting spray cute little bottle cute little spray nice mist it smells nice and fresh it's called the one hit you can prime set and refresh gives a dewy finish so something like this i will use when i'm wearing a really really matte foundation as i'm wearing a matte foundation today uh, but the setting spray is not dewy, but it gives you a natural hydrated finish, which you can see that's exactly what I look like, which I love. So if I'm wearing like a super matte foundation, I would definitely pull something out like this. Or, uh, and I can also use it to prime my skin before I go in with the foundation. So prime set and refresh your makeup with this triple action face mist. It is infused with aloe and tiger grass extracts to help soothe stressed out skin lavender and rose waters to help tone and brighten and sodium hel sodium hyaluronate to lock in hydration i've never heard of that product for hydration that's interesting that's new and exciting and the adam beauty one hit triple action setting mist is 18 dollars. i do realize that a lot of things in her line are very reasonably priced so i do enjoy that not sure where you can get her products if it's just online or if it's in any store yet but so far, everything that I've tried, really nice. Packaging is great, reasonably priced. I might check out some more things from her line. Next thing in the box, it was also a choice, is the r Co. Tika Peach Loin and Kombucha Detox Rinse. I've never actually used anything from r and Co. I've see, I see them all over the place. I see them in, you know, Ipsy, uh, BoxyCharm, and it seems pretty interesting. The packaging is always really cute. And then this is basically like a mask to help protect your hair. So when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. Uh, consider this post-wash rinse your one stop for shinier, healthier hair. As you can see, I flat ironed my hair today. So it's a little bit straighter than it normally is. I put in tons and tons of heat protected in my hair. And I always put things in to make sure that it's strong. Because it's just now coming back to life from postpartum hair loss. So anything that helps to make my hair shinier and healthier, I'm here for it. It uses kombucha to remove dulling tap water minerals, peach leaf extract to prevent tangles, and vitamin rich sunflower extract to smooth and nourish your hair from roots to tips. And the R & Co, oh, and this is an Ipsy exclusive. The R & Co Teacup Peacheline and Kombucha Detox Rinse is $32. 
pretty pricey but i think this brand in general is up there and we'll see if it does what it says We'll try it out. Okay, and the last thing in my Glam Bag X, which is not in the magazine for some reason, is my Micho Beauty Nail Lacquer Duo in Manicured and Angel. So it's Manicured and this is Angel. Two nude nail polishes, beautiful, beautiful colors. These would be stunning as, nail, as lip glosses, but uh, for nail polishes i haven't been into nail polishes in a while trust me i need a pedicure it is so my feet are so bad but you know spring is coming i'm gonna have to start wearing open toe shoes again so i'm gonna have to get it together and get myself to the salon i haven't been to a salon in over a year and a half we're coming up on two years i've been doing it myself but i got lazy the past year or so so really need to get to the salon so i've been Happy to be getting nail polishes in my Ipsy. I have two Smith & Cult and now I have these two Michu. Love the packaging. So cute. So nice. Love this little gold bowl action at the top. Making it nice and easy to open. And of course, some nice nude colors for the spring and summer. Again, not quite sure why it's uh, not in the magazine. So I'm going to have to get into my phone here and get that information. The Rusty Rose and Soft Muted Rose Lacquers coat nails in ultra shiny chip resistant color that looks gorgeous on all skin tones. Tends to happen with nudes. And the Misho Beauty Nail Lacquer Duo in Manicured and Angel is $37. Pretty pricey. That's $18, $18.50 per nail polish. That's pretty pricey. So I'll try it out when I go get a pedicure. I'll use one of them. Let's see how it works. I usually put a gel top coat over mine, so I don't know if we can really test it out that way, but they're nice colors. So there's that. And the last thing in the box is actually an add-on, so I'm not going to include it in the uh, final total, is the Violet Falls I Pinky Promise, and I as an EYE. So this is like the companion palette to the All of You Forever palette, which I got from BoxyCharm was one of my add-ons, so then when I saw that the pink one was available in Ipsy, you know they're all one company now, right? When I saw that the pink one was available in Ipsy, I figured why not, you know, complete the duo. So this is the palette, and I mean, let's be honest, just like the Olive View palette, which is not that olive, the I Pinky Promise is not that pink. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over at Violet Wall, so they need to get it together. It's pinkish but it's not like a pink palette. But what I do think is with both of those palettes, it's more for people who, like the everyday person who doesn't wear a lot of crazy bold colors, they stick with neutrals, you know, more muted pinks, the muted olives, but mostly neutrals, which let's be honest, is 90% of makeup wearers. Most people aren't walking around with lavender eyeshadow like I am. Just us makeup lovers and makeup enthusiasts. Most people, I know it looks boring to us, but most people are wearing this. Whenever somebody asks me to do their makeup, this is what they want. So, I completely get it. This is for the everyday person and this is what's going to sell. As much as we think we want the exciting bright pink neon blue, this is what sells because this is what people will use over and over again and this is what they will rebuy. Y'all know I always have to go off on some sort of a rant. So channel your inner makeup artist and mix and match these 12 matte and shimmer eyeshadows to do subtle looks for day or ultra glam for night. The pro quality pigments last for hours without creating fallout or fading throughout the day. And this palette is worth $35 I believe. I paid 12 or 15 dollars for it which is right around what i'm willing to pay okay so i did the math and everything in our box excluding the add-on of course is a value of 329 dollars so i guess just by by my facial expression you can see i'm like here for it but you tell me let me know down in the comments do you think the glam bag x is worth it I definitely think it is. I am actually pretty blown away by this box because not just it's, you know, a $329 value and it's inflated by a $100 skincare product, which is what they do a lot. These are all really nice, really high-end, 
really usable products that we got in this box. I think Ipsy blew it out of the water with their first Glam Bag X. Let's see, they, they started off with the bar high. Pretty high. Let's see if they're gonna keep it up. Let's see what the other box is gonna look like. The next one is until probably May. So it's gonna be a little while till we get another one, but still. They already set the bar pretty high. So let's see if they're gonna keep it going. Let's see if I'm gonna keep this Glam Bag X so far. Love it here for it but you will let me know what you think and down in the comments yeah and that's it that's everything that i got in my ipsy glam bag x uh thank you so much for watching all the way to the end please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye